Good morning, I'm Clint Griffiths. The government is making a push to protect farm workers from pesticide exposure. The EPA announcing a proposed rule it says will improve and modernize the pesticide application exclusion zone requirements. Agnes Michelle Rook joins us and Michelle, the agency is planning some revisions beyond what was proposed back in 2020. Clinton, a rule published in 2020 by the previous administration regarding AEZ requirements never went into effect due to a stay by the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. After a court challenge, EPA announced Thursday it is proposing to reinstate protections from the 2015 worker protection standards. Now, in 2015, EPA made significant changes to the standard to decrease pesticide exposure among farm workers and their family members. Among the changes, the revised standard included a new provision requiring agricultural employers to keep workers and all other individuals out of an area called the application exclusion zone during outdoor pesticide applications. The original 2015 rule required either a 100-foot or 25-foot zone around pesticide spraying, depending on the droplet size, which is the measure of how easily a pesticide can drift and accidentally expose people. The 2020 rule removed the 100-foot zone category altogether and created a general 25-foot zone for all pesticide spraying. The established distances are 25 feet for medium or larger sprays from a height greater than 12 inches from the soil surface or planting medium, 100 feet for fine sprays. She says EPA is also reinstating rules providing protection for workers outside of the application exclusion zone that were taken away with the 2020 rule. Additionally, the 2015 AEZ provisions required spraying to stop for people who, who were within the AEZ, even if they weren't on the farm's property, and for people like utility workers accessing telephone lines within the AEZ on an easement. But the 2020 rule took those protections away too. However, EPA's proposal will reinstate all those important worker protections. Plus, EPA is proposing to retain two provisions in the 2020 AEZ rule to provide more clarity and flexibility for farming families and allow them to remain inside enclosed structures or homes while pesticide applications are being made. EPA officials say the worker protection regulations offer protection to over 2 million agriculture workers and pesticide handlers who work at over 600,000 agricultural establishments. USDA has also signed off on the proposal.